Welcome to my shed. Come in. Hello everybody, we've seen in the previous episode how to repair a down jacket or any jacket with a patch. So that was a quick repair. And now we're stepping it up. We're going on to a three layer waterproof repair. That's the next game, listen. So here we've got those two holes. Um, we're gonna stabilize them from the outside and that's gonna be the first stop. It's important to lay the pants or the garment on a flat surface. So that's quite important to work well. So we're gonna stabilize from the outside the cut. So we're gonna take a piece of tape like this up and we're gonna make sure like to have all the fabrics in place because we're gonna repair from the other side from the inside all right so now we're gonna turn it inside out you can easily order a little piece of fabric but today we're gonna do with what we have so this is a little piece of fabric that was on a broken garment which I'm gonna use and we're gonna use a uh, seam grip glue and you're gonna it comes with a little brush uh, inside which will help you to put it on and if you want a faster repair you can even uh, join it with a, a fastener with something which you mix with it which will make it dry in two hours so that you can get out there straight away it's important to clean the surface to clean the material before we put the glue so we're gonna use isopropyl alcohol we're gonna rub around, which is gonna give a maximum glue. And we're gonna use the same alcohol after to clean all the residues of glue. So now we're gonna cut the little pieces of fabric. It's important to go with round edges so that it's gonna stick better. So I'm gonna make two little round patches. So now we've got our two patches. It's important to have the repair go at least six millimeters outside of the tear, but there, you know, it's inside, so we've got space, so you might as well do it bigger. It will last longer. I'm roughly marking it, marking around it, so that I'm not gonna put too much glue everywhere. Up, this one here. All right, so now we're gonna put the glue. It's important really to insist quite well on the tear. We're having it go slightly over the marked area. That way, make sure the edge doesn't flap a little bit. That way, I've let it sit a little bit. So now it's time to put the patch. As you can imagine, it's really important to press it down really well up. It's going to be important to push it away to make sure that there are no air bubbles in the repair. So that's going to be the best. So that part is quite important. All right. And to finish and make sure that the patch will really stay well, that it's gonna be full waterproof and that it's gonna prevent from having all the edges ripping off. It can be nice to put a little uh, layer all around the repair. Magnifico! Et voila! So now we're gonna wait 12 hours overnight and it's gonna be ready in the morning. We're gonna clean enough and it's gonna be good to go. If you want to clean your hands and your paintbrush, you can use uh, the propylene alcohol. And um, if you want to keep, make sure you keep the glue for a long time, you can put it in the freezer and get it out like around six hours before you're going to be using it. So it looks pretty solid. We're going to turn it around and see what it looks like. Tac, tac, tac. Take it. It's not the cleanest. So there's still some glue. We're going to clean it with um, isopropyl alcohol and um, yeah but this is already pretty waterproof so it does the job and now we need to do the aesthetics it's waterproof and it really does the trick there's no air going through so all the functionality is back you know i make 
that good old pen work again so i'm pretty happy and and i think this is a good thing if we can do that more often to our products to give them the longest life possible you know all all this outdoor gear just makes us have such good adventures that we need to take good care of it use it as much as we can and pass them on if we can but yeah this is a good way to treat them with respect <laughs>